Let's start in three, two, one. Hello everyone and welcome back to 4 Pixels. Koku is here with Rosh and Saku and we are continuing Ace Attorney Investigations. Hello! Hello! It's investigating time. It's time to investigate. Mm. Instantaneously we investigate. What? Immediately. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> September 10th, <laughs> Gumshoe in the corner. PM, district Court, third floor lobby. Oh, there is always something weird going on in this room. Yeah, but, but, but did you see the corp at the water fountain? What <laughs> yeah, what's doing? going on with the fountain? <laughs> Sir, what's that guy doing? I don't know. <laughs> and what is to become of the trial in the Ethiopian Embassy staff member's murder? Indeed, since both the suspect and the prosecutor are now dead. The case will be dismissed. In other words, the trial ends here prematurely. Ha! Huh. Looks like you'll have to wait just a bit longer for your big debut. Where someone will go and commit suicide on stand. You have a good track record, Elroth. Why would you say Holy that? Holy shit, girl! <laughs> Oh. That's my daughter! <laughs> oh, I love you! <laughs> <sighs> I suppose it can't be. <laughs> you get the man pretty good. Holy shit! <laughs> When <laughs> 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 oh, no, we're all channeling Monsieur. <laughs> <laughs> the evidence for this trial will be transferred to you in a little while. Sir, what do you think about the murder of the Kodopian Embassy staff? And the murders of Mr. Faraday and Mr. Rell? What an outrageous circus it has all become. But Faraday brought it all upon himself with his naivete. An outrageous circus. Right, sir. I grow weary of this topic. It's worse. I will have you assigned to a different case. Papa, you come and watch my courtroom debut next, won't you? Hmm, I'll consider it, Solnishka. So, if I may... <laughs> Shouldn't you have a Russian himself. diminutive? He's German! <laughs> <laughs> He's a little confused. <laughs> you know what, when we when we played Phoenix Wright at home, Francesca was also German. Uh, not German, <laughs> Russian. <laughs> so, if I may, please allow me to continue with my investigation. Whatever for? I know that there is already a suspect in the murder of Mr. Faraday and Mr. However, there's not enough evidence to prove that it was he who committed the crime. I'd like to continue investigating in order to find the perfect proof of his guilt. The perfect proof? Don't make me laugh. It really looked like he slapped him there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> A worthless person like you has no right to claim such a thing as perfection. <laughs> um, Papa? Who do you think is the real culprit behind these matters? Hmm. Miles and I were competing to see who can find the real killer first. Plus, being able to investigate a real crime scene is a really rare opportunity. It would give us some real life experience, wouldn't you agree? Mm. If you want to investigate this case that much, then do as you wish. I can never say no to you, my little sunshine. No, oh, papa. <laughs> <laughs> then, you're allowing us to continue. 
In court, your top priority is to win, and the solid investigation is one of the keys to winning. What the fuck is that guy doing? <laughs> <laughs> it was you moved, and it unblocked my view, and now I am very distracted. <laughs> what is he doing? Look at the Wait, guy on the couch, one, the too. Fountain or the one, yeah, the one at the couch. <laughs> <laughs> all of them. Just all of them. You know what? I think they're all doing the exact same thing in three different places. <laughs> It's the same guy. <laughs> it's just a time lapse of him. Yeah. <laughs> First nice I was here, then I, I was here. <laughs> it's nice painting I bought that we are standing in front of, no? <laughs> <laughs> we have to make sure you become recognized as a first-rate prosecutor, don't we? It wouldn't be very interesting otherwise. I'm returning home now. Edgeworth, Franziska, see to it I'm not disturbed, save for the results of your competition. Yes, sir. Of course, Papa. Ha! <laughs> I throw them scraps from table, they bark like a dog, it is very <laughs> <laughs> Francesca, thank you. What are you thanking me for? The logic earlier was built on the scruffy detective's lie. That means that the competition is still on. Yes, just as you wish. Hm. I couldn't let you get off so easily. Now then, it's let's... not. <laughs> it's not our style. <laughs> <laughs> now then, let's see how well you fare on the investigation from here, Miles Edgeworth. Was that there, Saku? <laughs> <laughs> I know I don't have enough information yet. So my first order of business will be to question anyone involved with this case. <laughs> I'm sorry, this room. <laughs> yes, what is it? Okay, guys, which one are you of the three doing the weird stuff? Not the guy standing in front of the door. I'm the guy in the couch. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I'm the okay. couch guy too. staring at the model sculpture, just like, <laughs> what? How did they make the trees so small? <laughs> it feels like there's a whole backside to this case we're not seeing. And here we had thought that it was a case where the two men had killed each other. We're lacking in information. And as a Ven Karma, I can hardly call this a perfect investigation. Indeed, it is as you say. <laughs> I can't believe we agree on something. Just what is so revolting about agreeing? Anyway, our first move should be to speak with everyone related to this case. Indeed. Even if you had not said it, I was planning to do so anyway. <laughs> What's that lash for? <laughs> it wasn't me, I tell you, I didn't do anything wrong! Yes, I understand, so let's just calm down, okay buddy? I doubt I'll get anything useful for the detective while he's this agitated. Got you got your Aldi and do a big shop. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bookshelf. Hmm. What's this? Which is trial exchange log. It appears to be a journal where the various judges <laughs> share their thoughts and ideas. <laughs> oh my god, it's gold dust! Pick it up, Edward! <laughs> Just like you get to the judge from the Ace Attorney Games, it's just like crayon scribbles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fanfic he's written, you know, chill it up. <laughs> the real daily lives of the judges are laid out here on these pages. Oh. Please, please give us an excerpt. Please. There's nothing about the court in here, it's just page after page of unrelated drivel. Game, I have never asked you for anything else. <laughs> Please give us an excerpt of this. 
Judging by the content, they are very enthusiastic about the courthouse's daily menu. <laughs> <laughs> and it would appear that fried oysters are a favourite. I have no use for such foolishly foolish words from that foolishly foolish crowd. No offence, Fran- Francesca, but you're cancelled now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oysters stuck in my beard today. But it's okay, it means it's a stack for later in the day when I recall that it's there and can pick it up. I suppose that's why they call it a crumb catcher. <laughs> oh. Everyone read the twits. I thought it was a guide for how to live your life rather than opposite. <laughs> Someone please assure me that this is not the true state of the country's. Oh, Edward. <laughs> Are you not going to talk to those three cops or anything? <laughs> One is clearly having a nap and two are very <laughs> occupied. Can we get up here? Go be the judge, yes! Edward. Yes! I'm the judge! <laughs> Justice for. This must be the judge's desk. You can tell by the gavel sitting on top. And nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> I had a dream once that I was being squashed from above by this gavel. Oh my god, so did Phoenix! So oh, my- you're such a weakling, Miles Edgeworth. You have no idea how frightening it was. And then as he walks down the stairs and she looks at the gavel, she's like, I did too, <laughs> and then follows him down. <laughs> <laughs> Why did no one pretend to be a judge while you were up there, guys? <laughs> Some kind of children you are. I know, right? <laughs> Any day now, I'll be taking my rightful place behind this bench. By that time, I should already be standing here. It'd be downright disgraceful if I beat you to it, wouldn't it? If that were to happen, Francesca, I'll eat my cravat. Hump! <laughs> <laughs> it's the defense attorney's bench. Ugh. I'd probably be standing on this side of the courtroom if that incident hadn't happened. What are you thinking about? Just gay stuff. Lately, <laughs> the more wrinkly your face becomes, the less I'm able to read what you're thinking. Well, I never. I'll have you know I don't have a single wrinkle upon my youthful brow. I it wish that, that you had been in there to hear that. <laughs> It kills me when they use the same sound effects that are used in Trauma Center. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Because like, I associate that, is, that particular sound with like a gash happening on screen that you have to suture yes. up. Yes! <laughs> Get the hell! The healing! <laughs> Don't die on me! <laughs> <laughs> oh, sir, no, nothing to report, sir. Is there no one who will make this man take responsibility for his actions on the job? Looks like we have no choice but to report this to Papa. Then, this god can have fun in a walking, waking nightmare after being awakened from his dream. Actually, let's not. I kind of feel sorry for him now. It's an incredibly detailed model, isn't it? I heard that it cost as much to make that as it cost to build the courthouse itself. What, is it made out of diamonds? Like, <laughs> come on! <laughs> what was the point of making such an expensive model? I felt the exact same way upon hearing it. Oh, it's so hard to understand such foolishness. Agreed. I, I'm not Edgeworth. I'm not saying eat the rich, but I am saying bourgeoisie. <laughs> I'll be here all week. <laughs> <laughs> What's the, the matter, future. officer? <laughs> I've been standing here for forever, sir, and I really need to go to the bathroom. Why don't you just make a quick trip? The nearest one isn't far, is it? No, it's a short way down the hall behind these doors, but I don't want to be blamed for anything that may happen while I'm gone. So I'm gonna hold it! 
Perhaps Detective Gumshoe can be a positive influence on the force after all. Oh, that guy playing with the water totally isn't helping that guy who needs to pee. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to all this rushing water sounds, dude! <laughs> Splash! <laughs> Tinkle! <laughs> <laughs> Wow, this thing is so incredibly detailed. My inner modeling fanboy is impressed. <laughs> I'm not exactly a fan of plastic models, per se. It's plastic. How did it cost so- What did they make <laughs> this? What did they make the big court out of? Like- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the big court wasn't that expensive, that's why. <laughs> it's just made of polystyrene. <laughs> yeah, when it rains, it just crumples. <laughs> <laughs> But even I can sense the superb quality of this model. No, ma no wonder everyone gets paid so little. <laughs> <laughs> I simply cannot comprehend how that man can feel so much love for such a trifle. Oh, I, I see. <laughs> oh, now he's all guilty that he liked it. <laughs> you are a disciple of my father. So you would do well to guard yourself against the interest in such unpredictable things, including cartoons. Yes, perhaps I should take up thing people like the young lady over here. It's a living. <laughs> I, I can't stop the water sound! <laughs> Seems the man who was here earlier broke it by drinking from it too much. Was it the guy standing over there? <laughs> That's why he's sleeping now. <laughs> Bunch of fools who pretended to not see the foolishly foolish actions of a foolish fool. Well then, why don't you lend the officer a hand? Hmm. As if I should have anything to do with this. Besides, that water drinking foolish fool's mouth is the thing that officers should be covering. What? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, let's dial that back and break down. <laughs> let's give that officer a description of the water guzzler later. She seems to have quite the grunt. Sounds to me like someone wanted a drink. <laughs> and a hug. <laughs> It's you. Oh, it's the Chuckle Crew! Edgeworth <laughs> and, um... Uh, who are you? Wait... You were at the crime scene just now, weren't you? You should be disbarred for not knowing who I am. I'm Francesca Van Calma, and I am about to become the successor to the family name. About to? I guess that means that for now, you're still just another kid. In which case, it's only natural I didn't know who you are. Why are you whipping me? She just radiates such top energy! I couldn't whip her! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it looks like they're planning to hold the evidence a bit longer. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's waiting. I'm terribly sorry, but I have a few more questions to ask of you. <laughs> look, look at you, eyebrows scrunched lines in your forehead. <laughs> and that to ask of you. <laughs> what exactly is so funny? I'm just bad at dealing with a super serious atmosphere. <laughs> Apparently they failed to teach you proper behaviour at the crime scene in law school. <laughs> I feel so much better now. <clears throat> so, what is it you want to talk about? I'd like to inquire as to where you were at the time of the murder. We were in the defendant lobby number one the whole time, up until we heard the gunshot. And by we, I mean Mr. Babbed. 
If you don't believe me, feel free to ask him yourself. You were with Detective Bad. Why? We had a little something to discuss, that's all. So I take it that you are acquaintances with Detective Bad? Yeah, he was the detective in charge of the KG incident. Detective Bad is also related to that incident. Didn't he tell us that in the first... Huh. <laughs> Maybe Von Karma told us? I don't know. That's right. He was the one who was supposed to protect my sister, see? But you know how that turned out, don't you, Edgeworth? Miles Edgeworth, I have no idea what you two are talking about. I've heard of the KG-8 incident from my papa. But how does that case relate to you, Miss Yu? The victim of that case, CCU, was my little sister. Oh. <laughs> You're making that super serious! Then. <laughs> I'm fine, really. I just make a point to rub it or salt at his wounded pride every time I see him. The way she talks about doing that as she laughs away is kind of creepy. <laughs> oh, speaking of Mr. Bad, he and Mr. Faraday, you know. <laughs> no, go on. I'd say they met up just about every single time the Yatagarasu made. It was practically a given that the two would meet up after every one of the crime scenes. I see. He did mention that he is in charge of the Yatagarasu investigation earlier. Maybe I should ask her what she knows about the Yatagarasu in more detail. You claim that at the time of the murder you were with Detective Bad. But don't you lawyers usually discuss the trial with your clients during a recess? We do, and that's what I was planning to do. But Mr. Faraday was being rather threatening and he dragged Mr. Grail away. After that, Mr. Bad came into lobby number one, so we just stayed there and talked. And what did you talk with Detective Bad about? <laughs> Nothing interesting. <laughs> I just insulted him some. <laughs> Talked about how the trial was going and then I insulted him some more. <laughs> but he, when she's not laughing, her mouth seemingly spews nothing but insult. <laughs> anyway... Mr. Bad and I were in the defendant lobby number one when So I really can't tell you anything about the hallway or lobby number two. I see. I'd like to ask you a few questions about your client, Mr. Mackerel. Oh, so that doesn't make you laugh, the fact that he has a stupid name. <laughs> <clears throat> now your client first claimed to be the Yatagarasu, is that correct? Uh, my sister was called CCU, so maybe don't, you know. <laughs> uh, I get, I get you, that's cool. Yeah. Once I heard that it was the Yatagarasu that had made up with the evidence from KG-8. I began to ask Mr. Rail all sorts of questions, but to no avail. Turns out Mr. Rail was not the Atagarasu. He had just made that up. He made it up. Mr. Rail's crime was caught on tape by the security cameras. But there is no footage of him sneaking into the Kodopian Embassy itself. 
put on for just one second. Then you mean to say that you knew that he was not the real Yatagarasu? And that he was just another cold-blooded killer? And you were ready to defend him? Yes, that's right. I see. So a defense lawyer is actually just someone whose job it is to cover for criminals. That's why defense lawyers are so detestable, but they are no much for us wrong karmas. <laughs> I don't believe it, you're serious! <laughs> oh, why don't you save that face for something really worth being serious about? And Edgeworth, do you remember what I said earlier? I have my own agenda. <laughs> I'm still on the hunt for the leads regarding KG8 incident, right? And for that, you have not a single qualm about defending a known killer. Don't put words in my mouth. I said no such thing. The only way I had to get close to Mr. Rail was to be a lawyer. I had no intention of covering for him, ever. So don't you dare suggest I was going to. I'm sorry. Give my rashness. That's illegal, lady. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's illegal. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> People who have admitted to murder still get defence lawyers. They just do generally um, try to uh, like get them to just trials or like stuff like that, you know? Yeah, but I think you can't take a case you're going to lose it on purpose. Oh, I, I don't know that she was planning to lose it on purpose. Well, that's or good. She... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's good because I like the lady. <laughs> <laughs> My love is unconditional. It's okay if she was going to lose on purpose. <laughs> Museum. I was wondering if you could tell me about the Atagarasu. The Atagarasu, huh? I don't really know much about that character myself. But I do get a lot of consultation requests from companies to defend them. Requests from companies? The Atagarasu isn't some petty thief out for money, you know. Hmm. Alright then, perhaps the Atagarasu is in the business of stealing people's lives. You're not very funny or witty, are you, little Miss Von Karma? <laughs> Francesca, be careful about who you whip. Choose carefully. Oh, <laughs> we may be sued by. <laughs> there, I chose carefully, just like you wanted. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Not just now. <laughs> I was so waiting, it's little messy. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with these two women? Why does my pain give them delight? Oh, Edra, so young. <laughs> and so, in the end, what is the Yasgrasu? I have to say, I had never even heard of this thief when I was in Germany. <sighs> the Yatagarasu deals in information. Namely, in digging out dirt about backroom dealings and the like of companies. The Yatagarasu is a vigilante who steals the truth. Hmm. Vigilante or not, this person sounds like just another criminal to me. I suppose you could put it that way too. But either way, 
I get a lot more clients now, thanks to that thing. Sounds like Ms. Yu is profiting nicely. Hmm, I suppose I've gotten all I can out of Ms. Yu. I should move on and speak with Detective Gumshoe now. Well then, we will go yeah. ahead and end that episode right there. Thank you guys for joining us, and see you next time. Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye.